Welcome to the part 2 of the fundamentals of mathematics. These problems again come from comprehensive Let Reviewer General Education Mathematics book published by Lurimar Publishing Inc. Problem number 6. What do you need to add 2 fifth to make it equal to 3? A. 9 fifth B. 11 fifth C. 13 fifth D. 17 fifth Here is our solution. Let x equals the number to be added to 2 fifth to make it equal to 3. To solve this problem, we will first translate our sentential expression to its mathematical equivalent. And that is x which is the number to be added, plus 2 fifth equals 3. Transpose 2 fifth from the left-hand side of our equation to the right-hand side of our equation. And that is x equals 3 minus 2 fifth. For us to subtract a fraction from a whole number, that whole number first will be expressed to its fractional equivalent. And make sure that our denominators are both equal. The fractional equivalent of our whole number 3, which has a denominator of 5, is 15 fifth. To validate if 15 fifth is equal to 3, all we have to do is to divide 15 by 5. 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. Therefore, 15 fifth is equal to 3. Minus 2 fifth. Noticeably, our denominators are equal. All we have to do is to copy our denominator and subtract our numerators. And that is 15 minus 2 all over 5. 15 minus 2 equals 13. Therefore, x is equal to 13 fifth. The correct answer is letter C, 13 fifth. Problem number 7. What will be the product when you multiply 37 to 1.43? A. 52.91 B. 53.74 C. 52.38 D. 53.49 For this problem, I will just give you 10 seconds for you to find out the answer. Please don't forget to type your answer below in the comment section. Your 10 seconds starts now. Time is up. Again, don't forget to type your answer in the comment section below this video. Problem number 8. Lloyd bought 9 notebooks and 8 pens for 135 pesos and 56 pesos respectively. How much does he need to pay in all for purchasing 15 notebooks and 14 pens? A. 98 pesos B. 225 pesos C. 323 pesos D. 412 pesos Here is our solution. First, we have to find out the cost of each notebook and each pen. For us to do that, all we have to do is to divide 135 pesos by 9 notebooks and 56 pesos by 8 pens. That is, 135 pesos divided by 9 notebooks equals 15 pesos. That means, each notebook costs 15 pesos. 56 pesos divided by 8 pens equals 7 pesos. That means, each pen costs 7 pesos. Our problem again is how much does Lloyd need to pay in all for purchasing 15 notebooks and 14 pens. All we have to do to solve this problem is to multiply 15 notebooks with 15 pesos per notebook and 14 pens with 15 pesos per pen. That is, 15 pesos times 15 notebooks equals 225 pesos. 7 pesos times 14 pens equals 98 pesos. Lastly, we have to add 225 pesos and 98 pesos for us to get our final answer. 225 pesos plus 98 pesos equals 323 pesos. Therefore, the correct answer is letter C, 323 pesos. Problem number 9. One sheet of short band paper costs 50 cents, while a long band paper costs 75 cents each. If 25 sheets of each size will be purchased, how much change will the customer receive upon paying 35 pesos? A. 3.75 pesos B. 4 pesos C. 4.25 pesos D. 4.50 pesos Here is our solution. One sheet of short band paper costs 50 cents. 
while one sheet of long band paper costs 75 cents. For us to solve this problem, all we have to do is to multiply 25 sheets of short band paper with 50 cents and 25 sheets of long band paper with 75 cents. Add all the products and subtract that sum from 35 pesos. And that is 25 sheets of short band paper times 50 cents equals 12.50 pesos. 25 sheets of long band paper times 75 cents equals 18.75 pesos. Next to that, we have to add all the products. 12.50 pesos plus 18.75 pesos equals 31.25 pesos. Lastly, we have to subtract that sum from 35 pesos. That is, 35 pesos minus 31.25 pesos equals 3.75 pesos. The correct answer is letter A, 3.75 pesos. Problem number 10. Simplify 4 minus 12 divided by 2 plus 5 minus 13 minus 6 times 3 minus 11 minus 2 plus 18 minus 8 minus 9. A 12, B negative 12. C24, D negative 24. For this problem, I will just give you 10 seconds for you to find out the answer. Please don't forget to type your answer below in the comment section. Your 10 seconds starts now. Time is up. Again, don't forget to type your answer in the comment section below this video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe.